what's good YouTube it's your boy Pro Jamaica man and I'm back with another video and today I got the final video of the series the SF build with level 50 they added two brand new skill slots that uh, level 50 players have access to so a lot of builds have changed up and I'm just updating you know every build that I've dropped um, people have been loving these build build videos so far so uh, yeah let's finish it out strong and let's finish it out right let's get right into it chat all right so to start out in order to have you know a good sf in order to be a solid sf teammate you need that b rank bro uh, S, uh stamina limit plus 50 stamina recovery 10 seconds dunk rate ld range block resistance and most importantly you get that block range because sfs do get blo power block and in order to pick up and beat you know what i'm saying an effective help defense teammate or just block those pf spamming trick dunks then you need that extra blocking range or you will get bodied trying to block regularly bro all right next we're going to the uh feature and the uh passives make sure you unlock the character's feature because without the feature the character is just a regular 50 rated player next we have the passives so right now i have revenge mid shot resistance i would probably put on if i was s rank i would put on s advanced drive sorry and then restore stamina um, for my rest of passives but a lot of people probably want to put on something else so you probably put on you know like uh, underdog and then restore stamina for the other two passives but it's all up to you bro if you spam drives equip the drive passive and then Restore stamina is a must-have on whichever position you could have it on. I wish I could have it on center, but you can't. Uh, next, we go into the cards. As you can see, I have a Apache card set there, but that's incorrect because I was running, I was running a, a different uh, build, trying to get a rebound SF or something in like season two. Y'all, if y'all don't remember, I did a video with like Alpha and. Um, I forgot the Aura, Alpha and Aura in like season 1 or season 2. I did a video with Alpha and Aura. I don't know if y'all remember it. All the OG fans, make sure y'all tag that man. If y'all remember, just uh, spam up Alpha and Aura in the comments if y'all do remember that. But the card set that y'all want to be using is the time card set for the SFs. If you want to be a, just a solid overall teammate, time card set is definitely a must have. Um, if you're a scorer and you like to just run around and try to score as much as possible, spam those dribbles, all of that stuff, then they have a different card set for the SF that you could use and it's called the Killing Time, oh my goodness, Killing Card Set, sorry guys, the Killing Card Set, so make sure you guys throw that on, so Time or Killing, I do have a Time Card Set, but I'm not going to use it, um, next we have here is the fates now when it comes to the fates as you can see uh epsilon not very big little you get a little shake resistance but that's about it um zeta as you can see here sh shake resist again but you have some drive tumble built in at uh, b evolve and s evolve but the one that's gonna be biggest for you when it comes to all of this uh scoring and just trying to evade the opponents is definitely the aid of fate because just for collecting all your fates you gain block resistance plus two percent shake resistance mid shot resistance plus 4.5 percent at c rank on the aid of fate and then at s rank it's so much block resistance and just mid shot resistance is ridiculous so really and truly for the sgs the sgs and the sfs have it easiest when it comes to unlocking their fates because basically two of their fates are literally useless aside from the drive tumble like aside from getting the drive tumble two of their fates are useless so really and truly you could only you don't you only have to focus on this ada fate and you're pretty much good bro all right next we have the tricks uh sfs are able to equip dunk focus so um you want to have on your dunk you want to have on dunk focus and you want to have on as many tricks um especially those tricks that finish high up um so you can spam double clutch or you know what i'm saying just go ahead and dunk on the opponent this sf is really broken for that uh she's still one of the best sf to use if not the best sf to use aside from all-star sfs really and truly i don't really put 
any of the all-star SFs in my eyes right now because they just go ahead and miss or they just get packed up aside from uh, that Mia all-star what her name is Mia or something like that if y'all know the SF that could uh, spam a crossover dribble uh, go ahead and spam it up in the comments um, but uh, as you can see here front flip I have axe dunk just all those tricks that finish high up you want to have all of those tricks on here goes the stats right now so um when you're rocking your stats you just want to have max mid shot uh three bars or more of stamina and then uh control is not really important you could have one or two bars into control a little contact just in just in case you decide to uh cross over spin into a dunk or something and you do get a dunk uh, contact SFs do be contact failing so you want to have that on you want to have as much LD as possible I think the maximum you could get with pro stats is like 220 or 2 225 so uh, yeah you want to have up those pro stats um, and your max LD max block max run speed and uh, with pro point stats you could have points left to put into pass but for right now I didn't have any sapphires to reset my stats for the video so uh yeah that's why <laughs> that's why I, I don't have any uh the stats done correctly but max mid shot uh three bars or more of contact if you want one bar of control or more if you want three bars stamina um or more if you want if you have pro point stats if you're level 50 bro you're probably gonna have pro point stats so um you want to throw that on and then three point shot is not really that important the really and truly the only way you're gonna be shooting three point shots is off the pass buff so um if you don't get the pass buff and you shoot a, a three pointer on a sf you're probably gonna miss like i want to say five out of ten times or six out of ten times so it's not really consistent without the passing buff so uh, make sure you have a point guard who you're able to co communicate with when it comes to uh shooting threes but the block and run you definitely want to have maxed out so uh yeah without further ado let's get into the skills now all right so you know how i normally just this just go ahead and explain to y'all scenarios where you could use these skills i feel like it burns up so much time on the videos and you guys are gonna you know gain an understanding of just how to use the skill just with the build uh basically this build is built around just being able to stay mobile you don't have any skill that gets you stuck in place except quick jumper and like fade away and like crossover spin because those are just skills that you're just supposed to have so this build is, this build is just built around just being mobile and just being able to just move all around the court and just not being restricted by anything right so uh, power block direct pass then SP drive just in case you have to spam a dash dribble and then next we have crossover spin crossover spin is really mind games if your opponent falls into the crossover spin mind game you could either pass out you could do a cheeky little layup you could get you know what I'm saying whatever you want uh, pass it out to your teammate a lot of people crossover spin and pass out to their teammates so uh, definitely a big 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 thing you know what I'm saying to have on a SF because it's just straight up mind games next skill we have here is pull up jumper if you're not using pull up jumper I don't know what to say it's it's just been a antagonizer since season one uh, next skill I got on here is jumper drive fake the shot you know what I'm saying dash in or you know what I'm saying reposition yourself to go ahead and set up into a pull up jumper or you could you know what I'm saying just stay still after the opponent jumped and try to get a quick jumper screen dodge if you're playing against Mitsuki bro like Mitsuki be making severes back to back to back like if you're not using this I don't know what to say to you bro you're just gonna be in a bad position uh, next skill I got here is dunk focus uh, spam up those uh, dunk tricks man next skill here is quick jumper if you're running pillar and you don't have quick jumper then you're just not doing pillar bro I don't know what to say to you um, I'm gonna put like a pillar video uh, in the end card so if y'all want to learn how to do pillar we do need a lot more SFs on NA so uh, I'm gonna throw that in there so y'all could go ahead and interact with that at the end of the video but next skill I got on here is SP layup um, at level 3 you get nimble layup and 
I think a lot of positions have this skill actually uh, elite um, I don't know which 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 characters has it elite but um, if you have this skill elite is a very very difficult skill to guard especially with those nimble layups uh, behind the rim um, it goes into cold zone and it sometimes gives you like a cold zone a double clutch animation if you do double clutch but uh, those layups are very hard to block next skill we got here is double clutch as I said before um, if you do get the cold zone animation for the layup and you do do a double clutch it's gonna be like impossible to chase it down unless the person is like right in your face bro they're not gonna be able to chase it down all right next skill I got on here is fade away you know what I'm saying Imagine not being able to hit a bean right in front of the rim, bro. You see, they even got the animation built in, you know what I'm saying, into the animations of the game. Imagine not being able to hit a Kobe right in front of the rim. I don't know, bro. Uh, as y'all know, throughout my other build videos as well, this skill also gives uh, some interruption resistance, some block resistance. So uh, make sure y'all go ahead and throw this skill on. Next skill we got on here is dash dribble. Just in case you need it, you get a 1v1 situation and your team is spacing a lot and you can't really, you don't really have enough time to reposition yourself and try to go for another another pillar. Uh, this is why the SP drive and the dash dribble is on. So you could do a dash dribble into a pull up jumper, crossover, spin or whatever you need to do just in order to set up yourself or your teammates. So, uh, this is also mind games make sure y'all throw that on and then next skill i got on here is catch and dash now this skill is very important because uh let me describe a scenario to you guys so the other day i was playing against zambone right uh he had this skill uh thankfully my point guard dashed into him and bump and bumped him but if you have low time on the clock and you need to get a game winner bro or you need to get a score off just mind games in order to trick your opponent in order to get that easy bucket dunk layup whatever it may be bro catch and dash is gonna do that work for you because it gives you that little burst as you can see it gives you that little burst um and it, it goes really really fast so it throws off your opponent big time and they don't know what to do bro so uh Make sure you go ahead and throw that on. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the build, guys. Video, uh, guys. Uh, hopefully, y'all guys enjoyed these builds, man. Um, honorable mentions for skills is definitely quick step back, quick step back, um, floater. If you don't have that on, drive pass. If you're running, you know what I'm saying, just in an ISO team. Um, there's also another feature that people are probably going to bring up and it drives nobody uses this anymore bro like if you if you use this i don't know like it's good it's good to have but i don't i wouldn't really use it because it's not really something that's going to change up your game big time yes it makes stuff easier to do but um what if you want to press a button and not do uh, something that's already mapped in for you to do it and you just you just go ahead and do it and get yourself set up to get blocked or something like what if you press the wrong key bro and you don't want to do that that little dribble or skill move set you know what i'm saying so uh people don't really use this just because it's just the game has just evolved to a point where people are just you know what i'm saying running a certain gameplay style and that's what works bro so i wouldn't really invest too much into drives but uh yeah that's pretty much it for the video best sf here by the way sukino make sure you guys go ahead and grab her up the other sf that i would probably recommend is uh mia or my oh i know i had the name almost right but she's able to uh break through the offense and get to the rim without being stopped so uh that's why she's really broken and she has plus five uh mid shot and plus 30 stamina oh my goodness chat uh but uh yeah 
that's gonna do it for the video hopefully y'all guys enjoyed man make sure y'all guys subscribe if you haven't already like up the video i am gonna be dropping that pillar video at the end i probably need to redo that pillar video as well uh probably all the playstyle videos but uh hopefully y'all guys enjoyed man join the discord if you haven't already um and i'm um, up out of here man super thanks are available if you guys want to donate as well you know your boy is trying to get that pc man show all the support y'all can uh as little as it as it may be bro it, it doesn't matter but uh yeah i'm up out of here man peace